Hello and welcome to Ganesh Studio channel. So today we are taking bases and dimensions further on and we, will, we are going to discuss something about linear transformation. So what if let's say you are given with um, any operator okay in three dimension two dimension and you need to form a matrix from it in the form of other operators where bases are also given to you. What I meant to say is, I am explaining you with an example that how you can uh, extract a matrix from an operator, okay? So let's begin. You can see here, there is a question, let T be the operator on three-dimensional matrix, three-dimensional vector space, defined by, you are given with three, uh, this is a vector space, x1, x2, x3, which is expanded by this, and you need to find out the matrix of T matrix of this whose ordered bases are in the form of alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3. So what is given to you is that first of all your x1, x2, x3 are this right. So and you want to make, an, make a matrix with it right. So and that also having ordered bases alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3. So what you need to find out, you have to make a matrix having the elements of T alpha 1, T alpha 2 and T alpha 3, right? Because you need to make a matrix of T but bases are alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3. So let's find out this T alpha 1, T alpha 2, T alpha 3. But before that, so this is our main aim, okay? Now, you can see if you want to find out T alpha 1, so T of 1, 0, 1, right? Alpha 1 is 1, 0, 1. So if you compare with this, your x1 is 1, x2 is 0, x3 is 1, right? Putting in this, these, uh, this form, 3 times 1, 3 plus 1, 4, right? Minus 2 times 1 is minus 2 plus x2 is 0, so minus 2. And minus 1, this is 0, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 minus 1 is 3. So this is your T alpha 1, right? Then after, this will be minus 1, 2, 1. So putting down the value of x1 as minus 1, 3 times 1 is 1, minus 3 plus 1, minus 2. Minus 2 times minus 1 is plus 2 plus 2 is 4 and minus minus plus 1 2 times 2 is 4 4 and 1 5 and 4 9 and your t alpha 3 will be so alpha 3 is 2 1 1 right so 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 which will be 7 minus 2 times 2 is 4 minus 4 plus 1 so minus 3, minus 2, plus 2, 0, 4 times 1 is 4. So these are your T alpha 1, T alpha 2, T alpha 2, okay. Let's see, but these are bases. You need to make a matrix. So let's see, your ordered base pair, A, B, C, also belongs to 3 dimension, okay, this set. So if it is belonging with it, then it should be in the form of somewhat like in the form of x, y, z. And because it is extracting from ordered bases alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, so it would be x alpha 1, y alpha 2, z alpha 3, isn't it? This is your main form. Now what you need to do, you have to find out the values of x, y and z, okay? your x, y and z which then form a matrix. How we can find it? So let's say if you see A, B, C, x, alpha 1 is 1, 0, 1, y, alpha 2 is minus 1, 2, 1 and z, alpha 3 is 2, 1, 1. Right? So A, B, C will be in the form of take all the, this is x times 1 minus y plus 2z. This is your first 
vector space then 0x 2y z then after third element will be x y and z correct now in order to find out x y and z what you need to do equate them compare them x plus this first element will be a this would be equal to b and this would be equal to c right let's find out the values first of all let me write it here t alpha 1 is 4 minus 2 3 t alpha 2 is I'm, because I'm going to erase them, that's why I'm writing it here. Alright. And your main equation also, let me write it here. ABC equals X minus Y plus 2Z. So, let me write it like this. Your A will be X minus Y plus 2Z. Your B will be 2Y plus Z. And C will be X plus Y plus Z. Alright. Alright. Now I can erase all the things. There's the dumpster. There. Sorry for that. So, hmm. So your A. Let's let equate them. This is A. And uh, let me take this value C x plus y plus z equals c so that I can eliminate them on subtracting. Okay? So this is minus 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 2y plus 2z minus zz a minus c. So you can say let it write it as it is and take another one. You can say this is 2y plus z equals b. So Again, elimination on adding 2z will be a plus b minus c, right? So z will be a plus b minus c by 2. So this is your z. Now, if you see, if you will put the value of z here, you can get b, right? So let me find out the value of b. b will be I mean, let me find out the value of y. So, b is 2y plus z. So, b is equal to 2y. z is a plus b minus c by 2. You can take the LCM here. 2 times 2 is 4y plus a plus b minus c. And this would be 2b. Correct? So, 4y is here. Take all the things there over right hand side. So, 2b minus b is b minus a plus c and this 4 will be here. So your y is this. Thereafter your x. So for x you can say here x is c minus y minus z, right? I'm just finding out the values of x, y and z and you know how to find them, right? Either by cross multiplication or elimination or substitution. So c minus y is this. minus z a plus d minus c by 2. So x is, take as in 4, 4c minus minus b minus minus plus a plus minus minus lcm 2, 2 times of 2a, 2b, 2c. Correct? So this would be 4 into 6c Minus b, minus b, minus 3b. Oh, wait, hold on. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3c and 2c, 5c. Minus b, minus 2b. Let me take them. Minus b, minus 2b, minus 3b. A minus 2 is a by 4. Correct? So, let me double check all the signs are at the right place. Yeah. So, your x is 5c minus 3b minus a by 4. Okay. Now, you have already found x, y, and z. So, what you need to do, you know that your t alpha 1 is 4 minus 2 and 3. Right? And if you make the matrix of this, I mean, 
if you make the equation, so how you have already x, y, and z, your a will be 4, b will be minus 2, and c will be 3. So, putting down all these values, so you will get x, y, and z for t alpha 1. And that would be your first column of the final matrix, okay? So, x would be 5c minus 3b minus a by 4, that means 5 times 3 minus 2 minus 4 by 4. So 15 plus 6 minus 4 by 4, 21 minus 4, 17 by 4, isn't it? Okay, then after y, which is b minus a plus c by 4, so b minus a plus c by 4. Minus 6 plus 3, minus 3 by 4. Okay? Then after your z is a plus b minus c by 2. So your a is 4, minus 2, minus 3 by 2. So 4 minus 5, minus 1 by 2. Okay? So your final, you know, you have to change this form into a matrix having this ordered pair. So now you have found out that these are your ordered pairs. So x, y, z, this is your column 1. So 17 by 4, minus 3 by 4, minus 1 by 2. Similarly, this is your for your t alpha 1. Now for t alpha 2, your value is, you have already found one. What is it? Minus 2, 4, 9. So now your a is minus 2, b is 4, c is 9. Let Put all these values one by one. So C is 9. Okay. Minus 3B is 4. Minus A is 2. So minus 1 is plus 2. Right? So 9 times 5 is 45. Minus 12 plus 2. So 45 minus 10. 35 by 4. Okay. Thereafter B which is 4. Minus A, minus minus plus 2, plus 9, 9, 4, 13, 2, 15 by 4. Thereafter, A is minus 2, B is 4, minus 9. So, minus 11 plus 4, minus 7, right? So, your second column will be 35 by 4, 15 by 4, minus 7 by 2. Alright? Similarly, Put down the value of t alpha 3 and do the same. Let me do it for you. So t alpha 3, 7, minus 3, 4. Okay. So your a is 7, b is minus 3, c is 4. Now put down all the values. So 5, c is 4, minus 3, b is minus 3, Minus A which is 7. Right? So 20. Minus minus plus 9 minus 7. So 29 minus 7. 22. 22 by 4 that means 11 by 2. Correct? Thereafter B minus A. So B is minus 3 minus A plus C. Minus 10 plus 4 is minus 6. That means minus 3 by 2. Right? And then after the last but not the least, a7 minus 3 minus 4. So 7 minus 7 is 0. So your third column will be 11 by 2 minus 3 by 2 and 0. So this is your final matrix for this. Okay? For ordered pair, ordered basis. So in this way you can calculate, you can transform a particular operator in three dimension, two dimension, any uh, any one of these and convert it with the help of your basis given to you, okay? I hope you understand this and if so, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.